Japan is building a new fighter jet. This is not just any jet, it is a sixth generation fighter jet. It's a super advanced plane. This jet will be one of the most powerful in the world. Japan is working with other countries on this project. The project is called the Global Combat Air Program or GCAP. The UK and Italy are part of GCAP too. This jet is a big deal for Japan. It shows that Japan is serious about its defense. The jet will help Japan protect itself and its allies. The Global Combat Air Program is a big deal. It brings together some of the best minds in aerospace. Japan, the UK, and Italy are working together. Each country brings its own expertise. The UK has experience with its Tempest fighter program. Italy has a strong aerospace industry too. This program is important for all the countries involved. It will help them stay ahead in military technology. It also strengthens their relationship as allies. Building a sixth-generation fighter jet is hard work. It takes some of the best companies in the world. Three companies are leading the way. BAE Systems from the UK is one, Leonardo from Italy is another, and Japan's own Mitsubishi Heavy Industries is the third. These companies are experts in making airplanes. They are using the latest technology. The goal is to make the best fighter jet possible. Japan's new fighter jet will be amazing, it will be super stealthy, enemies will have a hard time seeing it on radar, it will also be very fast and maneuverable. The jet will be able to outmaneuver other planes, it will have advanced weapon systems, the jet will also have very advanced computers and sensors, this will give the pilot a lot of information, it will help them make decisions quickly. Section 5, Soaring to New Heights, Test Flights and System Integration Japan has already made a lot of progress on the new jet. They have done many test flights. These flights test how well the jet flies. They are also working on integrating all the systems. This means making sure everything works together. This includes the engines, the weapons, and the sensors. These are important steps in developing any new airplane. They are especially important for a sixth-generation fighter jet. Section 6 AI Takes Flight – The Future of Aerial Warfare Japan's new jet will be very smart, it will use artificial intelligence or AI. AI is like a computer brain. AI will help the jet fly and fight better. For example, AI can help the jet avoid enemy missiles. It can also help the jet find and attack enemy targets. AI is changing how wars are fought. Japan's new jet is part of this change. Section 7, Turbulence Ahead. Uncertainties in the GC Gap Program. Building a new fighter jet is very expensive. The GCCAP program is no different. Some people are worried about the cost, they are worried that the program might go over budget, this could lead to delays. There are also political challenges, governments change, priorities change, these changes could affect the future of the GCAP program. Section 8. China's Ambitions, A New Challenger Emerges. Japan is not the only country building a new fighter jet, China is also building one. China's jet is also a sixth-generation fighter. This is a big concern for Japan and its allies. China is becoming more powerful. China's new jet could be a threat to peace and stability. This is why the GCAP program is so important. Japan and its allies need to stay ahead in military technology. Section 9. Securing the Skies. The Strategic Importance of Japan's Fighter Jet. Japan's new fighter jet is about more than just technology, it is about sending a message. It shows that Japan is committed to defending itself. It also shows that Japan is committed to working with its allies. Together, they can face any challenge. The skies are becoming more dangerous. But Japan's new jet offers hope. It shows that Japan is ready to protect the peace. 